I just wanted to do this quick little video for you. Um, the results were pretty like overwhelming for the choice of which patch of fur we're going to use um, as our close up of to represent long blonde fur for the next in-depth series of tutorials. And then, of course, we'll be drawing the owner of that long blonde fur, which is this uh, golden retriever. Now, as you can see, this is the raw original image, which is not really usable at all for reference or so you think. Now, if you can use Photoshop, fantastic. I'm not trained in Photoshop. Um, I tend to just stick to the free programs. Um, I haven't got time, to be honest, at the moment just to learn Photoshop. I probably will at some point because I know it's a great tool. But for those of you that are a bit sort of technica, technophobic or, you know, a bit nervous, so, oh, I can't use something that's really complicated, this is really simple. And I've shown it to you before. Be funky about editing your photos, using it for creating collages, um, quick edits, lots of different things. Now, I've uploaded the image. So basically, you just click open and then you open it from your computer. I've popped the image up here. They've got a new little thing. All I'm going to do is go over to the left hand side and click auto enhance. Now this is going to enhance it way too much, but look what happens. As soon as I just click that button, it now turns into a photo full of light and color that you can do something with. Now I'm not sure if I want it a full 100%. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there at 95% and click OK. So auto enhance is now applied. Now I'm going to go into exposure and I can tweak some of this now. I'm going to take the brightness down. Let's go down to minus 10. I don't want to take it too much. OK, it's not going to let me do not minus 11. Then. Um, I'm going to up the contrast a tiny bit. So we'll take that up to four. I'll bring out the highlights a little bit more. Let's take that up to 12. Let's have a look at these shadows. Oh, let's take it down a tiny little bit. OK, there's one other thing I'm going to just try, and that's fill light. So let's see, that's added in even more light there. You can see, do I prefer it with or without? So with or without. I'm going to pop in about 10% of fill light. And like I say, you can keep tweaking this if you want to go back in. Um, let's go into colour. Say it adds in slightly too much colour. Just take out a little bit of the saturation. Um, am I gonna... I'm quite happy with the colour, to be honest. So I'm going to leave it. And you can change the temperature and the hue in there as well. And so once more into that exposure, just to make sure I'm super happy. Because um, obviously we're going to be focusing on this fur over here. Um, but we will be drawing the overall dog. Um, let me just see if I'm happy with that brightness. Yeah, I think we will leave it there. So I just wanted to show you that, how simple and easy that tool is. Just hitting that auto enhance button that they've got in here now. And again, you've got beautify in here as well. That will you know, bring it up even more. Um, in fact, I'm going to lift, actually add that beautify. I'm only going to add it about 10%. 11% again. <laughs> Doesn't seem to like me hitting the 10%. So that's it. Quick and easy as that. Save. Save it to your computer. And there you've got your reference image. I'm going to crop our guy in a little bit because it's probably going to be, I don't know, I might do him as a portrait. And we can add to a, a background then with pan pastel. I can show you how to, you know, another tutorial on doing the pan pastel. So let's see. Or I might just crop him in to be like a square portrait or even a a portrait portrait, you know, an upright portrait. So we shall see. But I'll save the full image for you guys for um, Patreon. OK, thank you very much for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget just to hit that little button down in the right hand side. It only takes a second. Thank you very much.